Well, let's discuss that because with me now are Keith Vaz, Labour Chairman of the Home Affairs Select Committee, the Christian writer, the Reverend Jay Smith, and Maji Nawaz, formerly of the Islamist political group Hizbit Tahrir, who now runs the anti-extremist Quilliam Foundation. Keith Vaz, first of all, this is the cradle of democracy. You can't stop people coming in just because you find their views offensive. Uh, yes, you can. We don't have absolute freedom of speech in the United Kingdom because I myself have voted on laws which have prevented people inciting racial hatred and violence. This particular gentleman has those views. He's expressed them in his country. A court has ruled that he should be prosecuted. He knew he was going to be banned before he arrived here. He therefore used the opportunity to fly over, cause as much havoc as possible, so that his views would get even more publicity, and then he's on a plane so, back. So had uh, uh, Kurt uh, Wilders been expressing views that were offensive to Christians uh, about the Bible, for example, would he really have been banned? Well, you have to look at what Regulation 19 says, and this gives the Home Secretary the power to ban people, as you put it, if they are going to be a threat to public policy or security. And that's exactly what she's done. I agree with her decision. And I agree but would with it, but just briefly, if it had been anti-Christian, are you really saying it would have been banned? Look, you know, a lot of anti-Christian things around in this country. If he was expressing the views that he has been expressing, I would imagine it would be treated in exactly the same way. Yeah. People who incite racial and religious hatred in that way ought to be prosecuted. Jerry Springer, the opera, for example, uh, Mr. Smith, I mean, that, what about that? Yeah, I think it's fascinating hearing what Keith is saying here. Uh, there have been lots of, uh, not only documentaries, mm -hmm. I think every spring we have these documentaries that attack our Bible, that attack my Lord Jesus Christ. I don't think there's anybody here that want to censor that. And it's fascinating, what, what exactly has he said? that's been anti-racial. What is it what he's doing? He's doing the same thing I do. Uh, any given uh, Sunday at Speaker's Corner, I'm up taking these same verses. I'm asking people to read them. I'm asking people to interpret them. So why is it he any different than what I have done? Yeah, what, what do you make of the film? Well, I've not seen the film. You have, um, so, sorry, and therefore sorry, can I'm I just a, say, you're chairman uh, of the Home Affairs Select Committee. It's 40 minutes long, and you haven't seen it. No, I haven't seen the film, Kirsty. The other things that I've been doing today, I didn't feel it was appropriate to go to the House of Lords and see it. You see it on your, judged, on your computer. I have judged my views on the basis of what I know about but, this man. But, you, but, you but I have not seen this film, no. But you you don't have to see the film but to know the history you do of this. To, no, you, you do, you not, do to make a judgment. You don't. You don't have to see the film to, to see but the history. Of this You've seen man. the film. I've seen the film. Is yes. it offensive? I, I'm offended by the film, but I've got to say that offence isn't enough to ban somebody. We're going backwards here, and I'm being the only Muslim here, I, I imagine. Uh, we don't need bans to defend our faith. We've got 1.5 billion Muslims around the world. We're not going to apostatize because of an offensive film. And what Gerd Willers has done in that film is actually adopted the Al Qaeda narrative. He's capitulated to the interpretation of Islam that is violent, and I would like to, the, uh, to have the opportunity to challenge him and to debate him, and I challenge him here but, but to debate to these views. Well, I will go to Holland. <laughs> what I'm saying is, you've denied me of the opportunity. No, I have to now fly to Holland. You can fly to Holland. Debate this man, well, you which can do I, that. Is, which is, I there not, is there not an argument to say that uh, interpretations of the Quran have been used by various people? You talk about Al Qaeda. So let's talk about the Quran. Is this why you take on people every every week to talk about the Quran? Do you think the Quran, for example, per se, is a good work? There's lots of verses that I that I that I would like to dispute. And in fact, I do it all the time. Surah 860, Surah 47:4. The five verses that he brought up that Keith refuses to look at. These five verses are being used by Muslims to perpetrate much of this type of violence. And it's these type of things we need to debate. It's these type of verses that we need to get into the public sphere. I would love yeah. Majid to be able to def uh, not only defend the Quran but also have the opportunity to debate it here in this country. Well, yes, I've, and I would love that opportunity. And may you please pass this message on to get well that we would like to debate him because we believe he's adopted the Al-Qaeda interpretation of Islam. The government has denied us that opportunity. You can go to and Holland. I'd like to say that banning, as long as somebody does not advocate violence, banning is not the solution. What? We are now capitulating to the extremists oh. of both ends. Why he wants to ban Islamists and Islamists want to ban him. Where Why are our liberal think, values gone? Do you think but that the go government is appeasing I think they're Radical listening reason? to a small minority who have monopolized this debate. Mm -hmm. And that same minority oppose the government when they banned Cordawi coming does, does into this country. Does this not just lead hypocrisy. to even more misunderstanding and lack of understanding if you don't actually bring this thing out in the open? If we no, all saw it, it if you could see it, you would probably be to, uh, want to discuss Kirstie, it. I think it's very important we can debate this issue. But the fact is that this power has been used before. Only a year ago, it was used to deny entry to the United Kingdom a person who believed in suicide bombing. Which is violent. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Which is violent. Just wait a minute. Can I just yeah. say that this, you had... This, this particular person 
um, is being prosecuted in his own country. Now, before I came on the program tonight, Kirsty, I spoke to two Dutch MPs who were absolutely delighted that he's been banned from the United Kingdom. Could they can't speak out so because they fear that they are going we're to be until subject guilty, to be uh, criticised. The, the, the you can go to, you the can go to Holland and debate him. Why can't I debate him in my own country? This is the country that invented <laughs> well, freedom and liberal values. Why can't I debate him here? Because we have a tradition of respecting and tolerating this, difference of opinion. This does not he does not advocate violence, unlike Qardawi, who you've just mentioned, mm. which is why we didn't oppose the ban Imagine, on Qardawi. If I could just say this, no one's stopping you debating him. You can get on a plane and you so can go to Holland. So I have to leave Holland. my country to have a free debate. Well, what does that say about my him, country? Let, let me just say with something him. else. But you can have a debate with anyone else. No, I'd like to him. debate the man who made the film. Thank you very much, well, Keith. I don't can understand you, can you explain to me, Keith, as why uh, the spokesman for Hezbollah, and as far as I know, Hezbollah are not against the suicide bombings that have hit Israel. Can you tell me why the spokesman for Hezbollah was allowed to come to this country? And Gert Wilders, who is an elected democratic member of the Dutch parliament is not. Each case is treated on its merits. So Hezbollah is okay? There is no precedent that you can use in which you say because it's happened to this person it's got to happen to another. The Home Secretary has to look at all the facts and all the details. She has to do that under Regulation 19. This was considered very very carefully indeed before that advice was given. Um, Jay Smith, you've, we've seen this film, everybody but Keith Vaz has seen this film you can't really <laughs> suggest that there's anything of worth in this film. There's an enormous amount that we need to talk about about this film. But there are verses, there are verses, and what he does is fascinating. There's not anything in this film that advocates violence. In fact, it, it says just the opposite. And this is what's fascinating, that Keith hasn't seen this film. <laughs> Yet he's saying that he must be, basically he must be eradicated because of the fact that supposedly he's preaching something that the government here doesn't support. What is it? that Kurt Wirtz is saying in this film that you don't support. You don't have You to haven't seen the film. You don't know what it's with talking the greatest about. Of respect. It's brilliant because when you look at the film, well, you will see it takes those very violent uh, episodes that have happened in our news, it takes every one of them, and it shows that there are certain Muslims that actually use scripture to support them. There are certain verses, five verses that he chose. He could have chosen 149. He takes each one of them and says, this is the interpretation that these young men are doing. Now, we need to debate that. I men very, like Majid no, is, need to debate is that. that. True because well, some... I think that the mistake that the film makes is that it does not distinguish between the vast majority of traditional Muslims who do adhere to the Quran and Islamists who actually, politicize yes, it. The, the danger is, isn't yes. it, that what, he, what, what he's actually yeah. showing is yeah. uh, material that's on the internet and so forth of, course. of, yeah. of imams in wherever, Saudi Arabia or wherever, yeah. using the Quran in a very shall we say, incendiary we, yeah, yeah. and juxtaposing that with various terrorist attacks. Right, which is why we've set the Quillian Foundation up, because our purpose is to critique this very modern way of using the Quran. It's never been done traditionally, which is why suicide bombings are a modern phenomenon. We'd like to have that debate with Get Wilders. Ed can. Hussein, my co-director, debated Ayan Hirsi Ali on this very topic. She worked with him on the film, and we've been deprived but of Magic, that debate by the government. You haven't been deprived. You, we have been not deprived. Been you want to have it in your own country. You, you yeah. are not deprived of that debate. Of course debate. I am. I should not have to leave my country to have a debate on the Quran. Fly to Holland and have that debate. But no, I this should not have to look leave what, my country to have yeah, this. Let, let Jay Smith have the last word. Yeah. Look what this has done to the Muslims here, because yeah. it seemed to suggest that the Muslims can't even protract or can't defend their own Quran. The, yeah. Now, to me, that's tragic, in my because it's, say, it's suggesting that the Muslims, like Lord Ahmed, are so sensitive, are so defensive of their own scriptures There's that they cannot have this Jen, discussion in open. Jen, now, that's I've, tragic, yeah, and I'm that shutting down the debate. I'm afraid I am going to have to sadly shut down the debate. I'm very sorry, but I'm afraid we're right out of time.